Saint John Mahama has observed that his immediate predecessor, John Kofor, used the loans he took during his tenure to de develop the nation. The president made the comments in an effort to justify his government's acquisition of loans. The NDC government is often criticized by the opposition parties for taking too many loans, and President urged his critics to contact Parliament if they are interested in finding out what his government has been using the loans for. Um, Boniface, uh, you have been accusing government. No, I, I think that we cannot look at any African government that has not taken loans. Or let's look at Ghana. Which government in Ghana can we say that they came and they did not take loans? And if loans are used for developmental projects, then why would you accuse governments of taking loans? Is it the fact that um, the immediate past government, which was led by Kufo, also took loans? Mm -hmm. And is it the fact that, okay, if it is opposition taking the loans, it's okay, but if someone else is taking loans, it's bad? Um, you see, sometimes we, we say things in our way, just as a summary. Mm -hmm. If I say you are taking too much loans, mm -hmm. when you say you are taking too much loans, doesn't mean that don't take loans. Okay. That, that must be established. Mm. We say that, yeah, take loans up to a certain level and don't go beyond it. That's why we say too much loans. Okay. So the emphasis is on the two, T O. <laughs> <laughs> um, every, every, even everybody survives on loans that I can stand on it. I, and I believe in that. And uh, in fact, we all believe in that. And looking at our developing world and all that, we cannot say we will not take loans. So it's just a matter of the too much. But then, you see, what is my concern is, you say you're coming to, to perform. You don't come and give excuses. If I say this, then I say because you have done it before. That is totally unacceptable and that is totally defeative. Mm. So, I'm president. I have all the wealth. I have all the things. An executive president. I will never say you've done it, so therefore I'll also do it. Because you have done it before. That is totally defeatist. Mm. Go straight, perform, do your work. Value for money. Mm. What is the percentage of loans taken from Nkrumah's day, uh, time to date? Mm. Look at the percentages. We ended up with something less than, Kufo left with less than uh, 10 billion total loans of Ghana. Then, today, we are above, uh, um, we talk of $27 billion, mm. all right? Mm. So if you look at the percentages, then it comes to a point where you say, you are taking too much, okay? Mm. So that doesn't mean don't, but the value for money. If you have taken $27 billion, and then you tell us you have done A, B, and C, and the total of uh, rich hospital, the uh, rich hospital, circle, uh, flyover, casua, come to the, uh, less than 10 billion. Where is the other uh, uh, 17 billion? Okay? Because when we put the totals together, it comes to about 3 billion. All the projects that have been touted. Generally, every government has to do projects. Mm. Even our champion did projects. Okay. All the coup makers of since 1966 did projects. Mm. Okay, so that is not a big deal. But the projects you mentioned total to less than $4 billion. Then you say you have taken $27 billion, and you are not telling the, the, the country anything, okay? Mm. No, so this idea of you have done it before is a defeatist statement, and I would advise the president not to even go there at all. Because it comes to the same thing that you say president travels a lot. So when you told Kufo you were traveling too much, you get it? Uh -huh. You didn't see any problem with that. Today the president can come and tell us, oh, Kufo was traveling too much. He's forgotten of that. But now he says he's traveling too much because he's chairman, he's this, he has to go for loans. Yes, we agree. That is your job. So you do it and don't refer to the past. That's why you've been voted six years down the line. You're still giving excuses because you have done it before. So if I cannot perform today, I use your, your, your non-performer or your previous performance as an excuse. I, I think we, we, should, we should go far away from there. 
go do the work, let people see what you are doing. So sometimes I'm happy to hear the president say, yes. But I, so I, I, are you saying that during Kufo's time, okay, he took loans, but he also took to so many loans, but then the, this government should not use that as a yardstick to also take more loans because, of course, it may not be good, and so they shouldn't emulate that example. I'm not saying don't take loans. I just clarify. So in you the beginning, I clarified. Loans. What don't we say is that you are taking loans. too much loan because one, the projects you you have listed that you are doing mm. totals to three billion okay. U.S. dollars, mm. and the totals of the loans you have taken totals to twenty-seven billion dollars. Okay. So we ask you. So you spent three billion. Okay. So why is the twenty-four billion? Okay. That's all the words. So don't take you, loans you, again. Finish the twenty-seven billion, okay. and you can go for loans if it is justifiable. Mm. No, nobody would say don't take loans. Okay. But, uh, but hurry. Um, mm. We need to take loans. Definitely, we can't do without them. We need them for developmental projects but over the years let's be honest here have we used the loans for their intended purposes oh um certainly um but just before that i will say that um <clears throat> president would definitely uh, make reference to the previous government because of where the accusations are coming from mm. so i don't think that president is actually saying that oh my predecessor um took this so it is right for me to also take it. Um, in this case, we are trying to say that president is just taking because somebody took and that he has nothing to do with that. But that is not the case. The case is that we have seen these loans being taken for a particular project. And those projects, I must say that if you travel up and down the country, you see that they are being executed. Some of them are completed. Some of them are about 80% completed. Now, the quantum of loan that you take at a particular epoch, I think, uh, it relates to the sort of uh, um, the developmental rate that it is in your country. Hmm. Um, I don't think that uh, in the days of Kwame Nkrumah, we would actually see the number of projects, or we saw the number of projects that went on as to what we are seeing now. It wouldn't be the same during um, President Kufo's time to what we are seeing now in uh, President Mohammed's era. So. A particular president could take a uh, billion um, dollar loan because of the number of projects needed mm -hmm. at that point in time. Uh, if you look at what we actually going through as a country at this point in time, you realize that more projects has to be uh, uh, embarked on, and then uh, in, in this case, it will mean that more money should be sorted for. And um, I think that addresses the fact that um, uh, the NDC government led by uh, Professor Mills then, uh, President Mahama, has gone in for um, the more loans that we are talking about. Importantly, uh, you take it, and just like the President is saying, to make sure that you do a particular project. Now, I remember that quite recently, um, uh, my good friends were saying that um, certain monies can be accounted for and uh, stuff like that. But then, government actually came out and told our good friends that look this is where the money went to i think um, that charge was led by um, running mate um Balmier. and then when he got his answers he's not come back to say anything again now it tells you that um government borrows for a particular project and that is executed that is why nobody could come back again to say oh hold on yeah that has been answered. The other side of the coin will then mean that any time, any point in time, any government that is in there should be transparent. Mm. You understand? Information is, 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 is key in this, in this sense so that nobody will come questioning you uh, uh, unnecessarily. So for me, I will defend the president in that regard because of where the Lambasin is coming from. And, um, and um, he didn't actually mean to say that, um, oh, I'm borrowing because my predecessor borrowed. He's borrowing for a particular reason. And that reason is simply to move the country to the next level. Take, for example, certain monies that we have borrowed for certain projects. Are they needed or not? Qatar, yes, they are needed. In fact, um, in our energy sector, transport infrastructure, 
schools, hospitals, the rich hospital. I mean, all these projects are projects, um, uh, the pond water project, all these projects are needed projects that we need to borrow money for. So for me, I believe that the monies have been borrowed, they've been used for the right uh, uh, projects, and that will certainly take the country to the next level. The president made mention that um, if we, those who want to check whether those loans are being used for developmental pressure can go to parliament. But sometimes if you listen to the arguments on the floor of parliament, then you would begin to wonder whether indeed these projects are used for the um, these monies are used for the intended purposes. But I also come back to blame parliamentarians that if you question all of these, why then do you go on to approve the loans? Because I have been there, I have witnessed a lot of debates on certain loans. For instance, there was a loan um, that uh, has to do with uh, improving schools, and then there was an aspect of it that would take care of uh, school girls, would provide sanitary pads for school girls and all of that. That raised a lot of eyebrows, and they were asked to bring a complete document explaining what exactly those monies will be used for, not just stating that we'll buy sanitary pads for students, but they actually want how much will go into that. That document was not provided, but that loan was approved. How do you do that and now come back to accuse government of not using because the he's a Because, because he's a parliamentarian, I'm not. Can no. I answer that? That's why I'm asking no, him no, no, to no. answer that because, question. Because but I'll the, come the player back cannot to be you. the referee. I'll, no, I'll come back to you because he can explain why okay, right. they would approve of a loan okay. they, they themselves have some suspicion about, but right. they go back and approve those He'll loans. talk about yeah. minority and majority. In I'll just give you... That's one aspect. Then if you will do minority, I'll majority, I'll just, majority I'll then just, we I'll just come to practical. So we come to practical democracy okay Let's do that, well, I'm please. coming to practical democracy okay. and let me start from the, the point by saying that uh, in future if we don't make a change what happened in Burkina will happen in Ghana we don't want that to happen if so we don't that's do we why I say if we it? don't change it will happen forget okay. it it will happen if we don't change okay if so we change we, it won't happen so how so, do we change now let me come down to the point to answer your question but before that let me just say that Dr. Baumia, mm. next vice president mm. of this country. Okay. This man mentioned him. <laughs> when he, <laughs> when he questioned, that, that mm. when he questioned the use of the euro bonds, mm. the government minister came out with a list of projects, as he has said. Those projects were tapped with certain loans, not the euro bond. Mm. And so still, Baumia's question has not been answered. Mm. So that point is clear. I want to clarify that for the public. Um, Are you sure? Yes, it has, the, the projects listed had their own loans attached to them, rich hospital and all those sort of things. So Bavia's question has not been answered up to date. Parliament. We have parliament. We, that's the legislature. We have the executive mm. and we have the judiciary. Mm. And now the, the fourth realm is the mm. media. media. Mm. Now, when we go to Parliament, the, we, we're supposed to make law on okay. any issues brought forward. Yes. That is all you got to do. So when the President says, you can go to Parliament and check uh, the loans, whatever it is, here again, it's another flaw. It's a misnomer here again. And why do I say so? Yes, Parliament will pass a law. They, in this country, the, the laws emanate from the office of the president, mm. <laughs> the executive. That's wow. how laws, the, most of the laws are made. Bec it's done at cabinet level, processed and brought to parliament, and the, at committee levels, it's looked at and passed or rejected or amended. Okay. And it's done, and it goes back to the president for his oh, assent. That is, how, that is the, one of the problems we have currently. Okay. So in future, that too will change in a way. How do you want that to change? Say so that any private individual person can put in a, 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 a bill and it, it will work. Okay. okay, it can be debated in Parliament mm. and not but really. But I know that most parliament. of the bills you yeah. do consultation and you we talk do, to stakeholders we do. to bring in their input before the, yes, the law is actually passed. But, yes, but that. Is it would have come from parliament from the executive, from the executive. And, so and then we then call the, you say, Oh, this has to you're do looking with forward me. to a time where, where I it will can be just yeah. send something, yes, that and I want then this we, law yes, passed. and it should be worked upon. Okay, that we are growing, right? So, when that happens, 
the document comes and we look at it, work at it, and pass it. So you, 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 we may have different views. So we say, look, this one, look, this loan is too big. Mm. Do not work at it. This loan, you haven't, with all the reasons. At the end, what happens is what we said here. Minority, you have your, your, your say, mm. and we have our way. Mm. That is why I say, if we don't change that attitude, okay. then Burkina will come to any of these democracies. But, so but, we but, need but to be careful about that. You have been sent to parliament to yeah. represent your constituents. Yes. I don't think that your constituents will accept this kind of explanation that majority will have their way wow. and minority will just say what they want. That they is what. That the is the reality. Their way. That is but the reality. How can we change it? How can we change this kind of situation? Because we can't always go to parliament. We will change it. People have made certain com uh, recommendations. Can we have another chamber? That is, non that is not partisan, mm. to look at some of these issues. Mm. Can we have the civil society supporting parliament mm. uh, where you find that this law is not good? We come up and petition. We, you know, we towards Burkina. <laughs> you know. But Harry, you, you, uh, like the point I was it. making, mm. I, I remember uh, there was another time because I know definitely Parliament interrogates these issues before they apply. It's sometimes it, they get it up to here and they cannot do anything. Than to, and like he said, majority will always have their way. Sometimes you really sit there and sometimes I have pity for the minority because you can realize that, look, they are so passionate that they don't want this thing to be passed. But because they don't have the numbers, majority will always have their way. One uh, example, um, there was a, 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 a time parliament was questioning, I think there was a debate on the petroleum uh, management of the petroleum revenue. And uh, government was asked to bring in... Um, how it spent some monies yeah. and it had to do with um they said they, it was orientation for some stakeholders capacity and if, building, it, capacity building. Yeah. and if you look at the amount they spent they just want parliament needed a breakdown of what whose capacity was built what kind of capacity in which area till date they've not gotten that document so tell us why you are not giving us reason to think that you're taking loans but you're not using them for their intended purposes no i, I think that is that is a, a wrong uh, perception because the loans that government is taking are meant for certain projects and then why but, is government minute, minute, not minute, providing adequate information as to how it is using these loans because I don't, I don't, I don't it think, is based I don't think, on i don't think that government is not providing adequate information maybe you could say that certain information uh, is delayed mm -hmm. uh, uh, then i can accept that but i don't think that government would um deliberately deliberately say look we are not giving you the information because mm -hmm. Even if you look at um, certain bills that are to be passed, and I, I think you've, it's been passed already mm. um, for the public to interrogate or find any information at all, mm. it tells you that, yes, government is prepared to even get the ordinary person to know what he or she has to know, mm. um, for sure. Now, in this country, I'm very sure that every single law that government is looking for goes through parliament. Is that right? Yes. yes. Parliamentary. Yeah. So are we also right to say that a uh, president is not wrong to say that you we can should check go the to parliament, parliament for all are, are you getting me yeah. he's not even telling you that the opac or parliament he's telling you that all everything that we take we take them legitimately but he's also but, telling you the challenge they the face challenge, that the challenge he accepted mm. yeah and i agree with him yeah attitude but the point is we're not saying we're not saying uh, when the president says go to parliament and check. We are not saying that the president has gone on For his own to pick to a loan. The loan. We quite that accept the loan. No, 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 no. You said how the no, no, no. loan is said, being you. used because no, 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 no. after parliament yes. has the executive who please, 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 please. <laughs> yeah. I, believe, I, believe, okay. I believe that um, yeah. we are communicating in a language yes. that we all understand. understand. Okay. okay. Mm. And I know for sure that you even use the word, it's another flaw. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and the expression that is yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm asking whether it is wrong for him to say that because no. he, he's, it is not wrong. It's not exactly. wrong. Exactly. You yeah. understand? But the point. So, so please. Mm. So if that is not wrong, let's progress from that. What I am saying now is that, and I support what he said, the attitude. Now, 
that is happening because of uh, the fact that we don't actually argue on issues. We don't look at issues. We look at partisanship. Mm. Okay, he's MPP, I'm NDC. Mm. So even if it's good, even if even it's, it's not bad, good, I'll go for it because go my for party, it because is, my for party it. is yes, is mm. for it. Mm. You see, I think that that is the change that everybody is calling for. If something is not good, let us all decide on it and say, look, it is not good. And even if it's the CPP that is in government, yeah, and they have the majority, okay, let's have some of the yeah, MPs also coming out to say that this thing is certainly not good. But you will be ripped no. in Parliament if no, no, you're no, no, NDC no. and you're found going, you no, know, no, no. What I'm saying, what you're I'm not saying, towing NDC line. That is, that is the growing that he is talking about. Mm -hmm. One day we'll certainly get there. Now, I believe that most African countries, yeah, it's not just in Ghana, mm -hmm. uh, we look at um, election times and throughout the period that we need to govern, mm. where we need to be debating issues mm. and debated uh, uh, in the interest of the country, mm. we're still campaigning. Mm. You understand? That is the problem. Okay. So when we are still campaigning between the four years, mm. yeah, it will also affect what parliament. Mm. Yeah? And that is where some of um, the people in there will be scared to say that, look, I'm against it. <laughs> I think the right to information bill will do a, a lot of justice. It will. To it will do for At the what stage are we with that bill? Are we, uh, is it uh, close to pass or some to passing into law? Because if we have that it, bill, people can, you know, go it, for readily available information and equip themselves with whatever information they need. Then they can make informed decisions. But sometimes people make all of these comments because they don't have information. It, it, I think it's something that government It was since, since the fifth parliament. We are the fifth parliament. So you're also it, looking at it. It hasn't even come. It we're hoping, we're hoping we are hoping that hope. that and thing will be so, welcome because so I know a lot of people are very passionate about yes. it. They've called for it a number of times. That it is, will, it, it can, it can that is why I said all the, all the president problems. saying go to parliament and check the loans is a flaw because mm -hmm. I'll go check. Yes. We approve this loan. But what is has happened to it? It's interesting oh, that no. when, so the, is when, when the when the conversation is no, getting interesting, then our no. time it's will be. <laughs> He's just um, a, a I think of that that is where we would have to wrap up the air <laughs> talk this morning. Tomorrow is another day. We'll continue the discussion yes. on the things yes, that make our country move forward. I've been here ready. with um uh Boniface Gambilla Adambilla, his MP for Napdam Adak constituency. Adagbila, his MP for <laughs> Napdam constituency and Horace Ni Ayankra, former chairman UK and Ireland chapter in now, Thank you so much, gentlemen, <laughs> for coming on the show. Coming Pleasure up next is. is my banner with Kwabna Chen Chen Him Boateng. Stay tuned.